Hello and welcome to this new touch designer tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we are going to see how to create a cloud using um, uh, the flow emitter uh, and uh, automate it to the to the mouse. It's going to be easy, fast, and cool. I I find it cool. So let's start with the new touch designer project. We get rid of all our operators on the network here. We close our palette and um, I press tab and I start with a circle top. Circle top has to have like a radius of 0 0.04, so kind of small circle. And then we have to place it um, a little bit down compared to the, to the position in the screen of our operator. Mine is 0.3 and mine is 0.02. All right, and then we can copy this and make uh, with Control C, we uh, copy the operator and we make seven copies of the circle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So what we want to do is like placing all the circles um, close to each other. So minus 0 0.3 for the second circle, minus 0 0.19 for the third, minus 0. 0 0.08 and 0 0.03 0 0.14 and last one let's place the 0 0.25 after this we add a composite top we select all the circles, we connect them to the composite input and we do an add and we can see that we have all the circles close to each other. It's actually the one in the middle a little bit more down so that we have this. And then we can add, like, select all of them and click with the right button of the mouse and get the menu. And we can then use the option collapse selected. We go inside the comp, the base comp, we add the out so that we have an output. We can name the base cloud top and then we can add a null for our cloud top perfect now what we need to do is create a ramp top in this ramp top we need we need it selected as a um, horizontal type. We need one of the points of the positions of our markers here at zero and one at one, and uh, we need the third one around uh, 15% from the beginning. So let's say here. Then all the points have to be at 244 for the U. Perfect. 0 0.998. Okay. So, and this will be white. Then we need other values for the others. And then we need 0. 337 for this guy and in this way we have like a ramp that goes from white to uh, light blue and then to white again 
we can then add um, comp media flow emitter and here we can first of all decide that the emitter will be like not a sphere but a shape top and we need to add the shape top here and also we can go in material and select the ramp operator with the new updates we don't need to transform the ramp in a in a chop but we can uh, actually already drag the ramp in, into the material page also a new uh, new feature of the um, of the updated uh, nvidia flow emitter is the possibility of add shape uh, a shape top sock so which is very cool actually because we don't have to render the top and uh, we don't have to render the sock and transform it in a, in a top very cool so now we need a camera actually and also we need a flow top and we can start to see something that is uh, should be our cloud but is not yet our cloud so nice so what we need to do is now um, uh, in fact um, modify some parameters in the flow emitter um, comp the first parameter is the size which is one 0 0.75 and 1 and we see already that is uh, changing something uh, also we need to modify the these parameters here which are 0 0.17 0 0.03 also we need to go to the camera and select 0 0.2 here and 3 for the position of the camera and also going to the flow top and modify the gravity which will be 0 0.50 minus 0 0.1 so and we see already that the shape of our fire is modified and looks like uh, like uh, just one corp then we need to modify these others and yeah and then the last parameter we want to modify is the this one okay to keep the, um, the system very light and having like less uh, problems of um, yeah to keep the system very light we can uh, yeah switch off the view here of each operator and we can continue then um, to add the mirror after our flow top is we, 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 we click on flip x and we add a rotation of 90 we can actually see now that we basically mirrored the um, the initial image that we had so we can create um, a kind of a cloud a real cloud So now we can add actually a transform and we can bring it a little bit more on the left yeah. and also we can add a blur top And we can press shrink 
to set the pressing parameter at 6 so that we have the edges a little bit more blurred very good so now, now we can add a constant constant can be set at 0 0.5244 0 0.807, 0 0.92, and we we'll do light blue color. So we can add a transform, and this will be used for mapping the mouse. So we can already add the mouse chop key, and then we can add the composite top. And we can set it on the over. Now um, we can set the resolution of our constant as uh, 1280, 720. Okay, we can also Actually, we can delete maybe. Oh, let's let's uh, bypass the blur for the moment, and we start to map the um, the mouse. Of course, the mouse has to be mapped like in my case because I have like the the bar the um, of my Windows on the right side is gonna be probably different from the setup that you will use for your computer. So I need to remap my tx and my ty so i need a select shop actually two I can select both of them and i can map them to the mouse in output i select the tx and the ty and here i need the ty and then i need two map chops And I need to see like the two x values. So they go from minus one to mine zero point nine. So minus one zero point nine. And this one is going from the 0 0.5 to 0 0.5 let's say minus 0 0.5 0 0.5 and then I have to see uh, here translating when I reach the, the edge of my so it's already 0 0.1 Zero actually on the x point one zero zero point one and then I have to see on the y axis zero point two maybe zero point fifteen yeah let's say zero point fifteen to minus zero point fifteen to Four. Okay, so for the y axis, you can set the values from my minus zero point fifteen to zero point four. 
and we can map these values to the transform top. So in, the, in this way, we have our cloud created with a flow emitter mapped to the, to the mouse. Of course, there is this, um, this part in the middle, and actually we can go and which this part in the middle of our cloud, which is a little bit weird, so we can actually go and modify a little bit the mirror, yeah, 0 0.45, and in this case, yeah, we can see it more compact, the, the cloud more compact. So, yeah, yeah, that's all. So this is how you create your cloud um, with a flow emitter in Touch Designer. And um, yeah, I hope you like this tutorial. Maybe you will find it useful for your projects, maybe. And yeah, please subscribe if you're interested in watching other tutorials um, on flow emitter and also on uh, uh, on Kinect. And these are gonna be the next topics for the next days because I have to be around, like I am middle in this world, so I have uh, a lot of time. To, to work on tutorials. So um, please let me know also with a comment which could be a topic that might be interesting for you and I will try to, to do my best for releasing tutorials also on those topics. Thanks for watching, see you very soon.